It might be one of the loudest guests at the Canada 150 party. The USS Dwight D. Eisenhower arrived in Halifax today. It brings helicopters, jets, and more than 3,000 crew members, some born in Canada. I've been celebrating Canada's birthday since I was about uh, 18. The U.S. Navy invited media and special guests aboard. It started with a safety briefing about the rear-facing seats and how they plan to land on a ship. Here's how that feels. I was then led into the ship, 24 stories tall, three football fields long, with everything from restaurants to gyms. The visit is designed to show how well U.S. and Canadian ships work together. We always like to see them on the horizon because they, they raise the bar of capability in, in every mission that they come with. Canada once had a fleet of carriers, but not anymore. This ship alone costs between five and six billion dollars to build, but it can't travel alone in international waters. It needs destroyers and cruisers near it to defend it. In all, it takes about 13 billion dollars Canadian worth of equipment for this aircraft carrier to travel safely. Before long, it was back into the rear-facing seats to take off twice as fast as the world's quickest sports cars. The carrier will be in Halifax for Canada Day and the American Independence Day. Brett Ruskin, CBC News, aboard the USS Eisenhower.